Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Wannabe Place. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix FC26 live editor error. That is the live editor overlay not being displayed on the FC26 home menu. Now, before we jump into the possible solutions for this, let me show you what errors one might face. The very first one being inside the live editor launcher, where we have this blank screen, blank white screen, and that local.ini file is not being displayed. The second problem is a consequence of the first problem. When you try to close the launcher and run it again, this particular error saying live editor launcher is already open displays on the screen. Even if you try closing it and running the launcher again, the problem persists. You can go to the task manager and close the launcher from there, but it won't make any difference. And lastly, the overlay problem. When you launch the game, let me do that once. When you launch the game and get to the home screen, you cannot see the live editor overlay that should be displayed by pressing F9 or it should come automatically on the screen, but it does not do so. It is time I show you the possible solution for this. And this particular solution should fix all these problems that I have just showed you. What you want to do is go to your game directory. For me, it is in G and then the FC26 folder. Once inside this folder, I want you to locate an adios.cfg file. Once you do that, open that file and then locate load extra DLLs. It should be under emulator section. I'm using Visual Studio Code for opening this file, but you can use any other software. Once you're here, I want you to minimize it. Let's head to the game folder once more and locate fcliveeditor.dll. Now we have to copy the name of this particular file. Let me do that. And then let's head back to the anadios.cfg file where it says load extra DLLs that we just located, I want you to change whatever is there in the quotation marks. I'll select this entire line, leaving dot DLL, and then I'll overwrite the selected part. It should be written FC Live Editor dot in small letters DLL. Once you do that, I want you to save the file and close it. We are done with the solution. We can now run the game. I want you to run the game first before running the live editor launcher. Make sure that the live editor is not running. Go to the task manager and close it. Then run the game. The overlay should be displayed right now. Also, when you open the live editor launcher, the blank screen should be gone and the local.ini file should appear. And that's it for the solution. If you have any queries, any doubts, or if the solution did not work for you, do comment in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you out. Like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.